Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for March 28, 2021. In this video we're going to talk about the updates, what's been going on with me. If I've seen a movie or played a video game, I'm going to give you guys my reviews and thoughts on it. If you guys ask me a question for the Q&A, I'm going to answer it later on. And um, if you guys ask me for a shout out, I'll give you your, your shout out uh, later in this video, all right? If you guys want to do it next week, we'll do it again next week also. Just comment below, ask, ask, ask a question for the Q&A. Ask me if you want a, a shout out. Say, hey, David, can I have a shout out? And uh, I'll give you guys your shout out next week. This is Titus, everyone. He's been on my YouTube channel for quite some time. Okay. Um, he's getting up there in age, though. He's like 13, 14 years old. And uh, this may be... The last time we see him on the channel, my sister wants to take him to the doctor to see if we can uh, see if we can uh, put him to rest from out of his misery because uh, Titus here has been walking with a limp for a couple months now. One of his legs stopped working. Can't hold in his pee anymore. He has some bladder problems. Difficulty sleeping, difficulty breathing, and uh, my sister thinks this is time. So we'll, we'll see. If the doctor says we can't, then we'll stick around a little longer, but uh, I'm going to miss you, buddy. I'll let you go so I can do my vlog. Look at his lip. Aw, you see that? All right, everyone. So a movie I saw this past week was Team America World Police. I've owned this DVD for years, like I've had it in my collection for like over a decade, but I just never actually saw it because I, I knew the ending to it already. I saw it on TV, on Comedy Central or whatever, and I knew, already knew the ending to it, so I never saw the movie from beginning to end. This is my first time watching the movie from beginning to end, Team America, America World Police. So basically, here's the, the, the basic bare bones plot, okay? North Korea wants to take over the world, and we have a team of experts, okay? Experts in their, their respective fields. Uh... Gotta take them down, basically, all right? And uh, the movie's cool because it's completely done with puppets. And you, you can see the puppet strings and stuff like that, okay? But the cool thing about this this uh, movie is from the creators of South Park. Yeah, uh, those who made South Park. You can, you can tell from watching this, okay? The voices, the style of humor, okay? Um, it, it's all there, okay? So... Uh, I thought the movie was very unique, very funny, okay? Every time they're trying to save the world or whatever, okay. So they kill all the terrorists and stuff like that, too. But they're destroying all the monuments. They're going all around the world and destroying all, all the historical um, uh, land uh, landmarks and stuff like that. Pretty crazy stuff. But I really like the style. Uh, too bad. Uh, this movie looked like it's, it, it took a long time to make, by the way, okay? It wasn't uh, an easy movie to make. But uh, got the uncensored, unrated version here. Outrageous, four stars. Uh, got a few special features here. An introduction, building the world, crafting the puppets, pulling the strings, capture the action. Okay, so there's my review of uh, Team America World Police. I give it like a, a, a 9 out of 10, okay? 9 out of 10 for creativity, humor, plot. I mean, there's some emotional parts in here, like the girl, like... Um, she was uh, in love with like the previous guy who this guy replaced and stuff like that. It's, it's got some drama in it too, okay? But check it out if you haven't already. Uh, another movie I saw this past week was Planes, okay, from Disney. It's uh, from the same world as Cars. So you see characters from Cars, okay? But uh, it's, in the, it's in the same universe, uh, but it's, it's focused on planes. So what's the plot of this? Well, there's a plane who's afraid of heights. And he's in this uh, race around the world, um, and during that race, he like makes friends with the the other other uh, racers and stuff like that. Okay, 
uh, throughout, he, he, he's, he's a, a crop duster uh, plane, okay? So he's not built for speed. But he, he was like, I want to be a, a racer plane and stuff like that. So they, they'd soup him up, you know. All the other, uh, all the other uh, racers gave him their parts and stuff like that so he can finish the race and stuff like that. A very sweet, feel-good story, okay? And the guy who plays R slash Q from the Pierce Brosnan, uh, James Bond movies, he was in this too <laughs> as, a, as one of the racers, okay? That was, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I, 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 there's a Planes 2. I may check it out, okay? I also got this digitally too, okay? The digital code actually did work. Like I bought this movie for like two bucks at a Goodwill and uh, whoever had this before me did not use digital code. So I'm, I'm really happy about that, okay? The final thing I watched this past week was the Doctor Who New Year special from this past year, okay? Revolution of the Daleks, okay? So in this, the Daleks, they're cloning themselves and all that stuff, okay? Remember the, the, the special from last year? So they clone that Dalek, all right? And they're just this huge, big wig corporation guy who's like in charge of everything, uh, uh, mass producing Daleks, okay? And then uh, I really enjoyed the ending though. It was Dalek versus Dalek at the end, okay? So the doctor called on the real Daleks, the uncloned Daleks, to, uh, to attack the, the clone Impure Daleks. And I thought that was really cool, man. Uh, this also says goodbye to two of the main characters ever since the, uh, the, the, the reboot, the, the, the 13th Doctor started, okay? Ever since Jodie Whittaker became a doctor, she had a, a, a three of these uh, companions, right? Uh, well, <clears throat> we say goodbye to two of them. Oh, Captain Jack Harkness comes back in this one too. And he was cool, man. I really enjoyed him, okay? Uh, I like how he planned his little escape with the Doctor. You guys have to see it. If, if you guys are into, in, into Doctor Who, I think it's really cool how they, how they uh, fit him into the story and and uh, how he helps out with, with, with the characters and help, helps out with the story and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, the, the, only, the only thing that annoys me about this story was that corporate bigwig, the, uh, the CEO dude that, like, sabotaged everything, okay? So, Doctor Who, I'm glad I picked this up, okay? I also got this digitally... Uh, I should watch it digitally. I just bought the DVD. It's still in plastic, as you can see. It's still in the plastic. I just want it for my collection, but I, I, I watched it digitally, okay? Uh, I bought it digitally, too. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and do the Q&A and shout-outs. So the one person who asked for a shout-out in last week's vlog was Rigo Rango. Rigo Rango, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank, thank you for liking the videos and spreading the word about the channel. You are awesome. Okay, so I have here one, two, three, four, five, six questions for the Q&A. Oh, um, I didn't finish any video games this past week, so there's nothing to review, okay? But I did play games this past week. Like, I bought a Nintendo Switch. Um, I used my stimulus money on it. Um, for those of you who don't know, here in the U.S., everyone gets $1,400, and you're supposed to spend it to bring up the economy. Go to your favorite local restaurant, try to keep them in business, okay? Um, go buy flowers, go buy a new car, whatever, okay? Try, try to use that money to bring up the economy, okay? Uh, I used it to buy a Nintendo Switch and a bunch of, of, uh, of uh, pre-owned games. I will do a Nintendo Switch collection very, very soon, all right? I was like, if I get like 10 games, that's probably enough for me to make a, a Nintendo Switch collection video. I'm, I'm close to there. <laughs> so coming soon, Nintendo Switch collection and a bunch of gameplay videos uh, concerning Nintendo Switch, okay? People keep asking me for Nintendo Switch for years. I finally got the light <clears throat> and a bunch of games, and uh, pretty soon you'll hear some reviews, okay? <clears throat> Peter D. asked for the Q&A, are you still going to wear a mask even though here in Texas the mandate has been lifted? Okay, so for those of you who know, know here in Texas, you don't have to wear a mask anymore, okay? You know, for uh, protecting you from COVID and stuff like that. But... That's only like in general, you know, like you can go to different places as long as they, you, have, you still have to follow the rules. So let's say I go to Walmart or, or, you know, the mall or something like that. And it says you have to wear a mask. I still have to wear a mask. OK, so it depends on the business. OK, if you want to go to some, you know, mom and pop store and they say you don't have to wear a mask. OK, you don't have to. But uh, from what I've seen so far, like my, my job, for instance, still requires me to wear a mask. OK, uh, 
So still going to Walmart, you still have to wear a mask. You still go to the mall, you go to a restaurant or something like that. They still won't let you like sit down in the restaurant. You know, some you do, some you do. But uh, basically, it's like up to the business now. It's up to private business. But uh, in general, you don't have to wear a mask in Texas. So the next question here for the Q&A is from Josh B. And Josh asked me a very common question, a very frequently asked question. That is, will I buy the PlayStation 5? Um, I will buy the PlayStation 5 when there are probably a dozen or so exclusive games that I can only play on PlayStation 5 and I can't play on any other system. I can't play on, on PS4. I can't play on Xbox One. I just bought a new computer, by the way. Um, I can't play it on PC. You know, I can't play it on Steam or Epic Game Store, okay? So, a new Uncharted game, a new uh, God of War, a new Little Big Planet, okay? The next Grand Theft Auto can only be played on PlayStation 5. The next Call of Duty is PlayStation 5 exclusive. If that happens, okay, I'll buy the PlayStation 5, okay? But right now, I don't see, a, a, like, games are coming on PlayStation 5, for the most part, are released on the um, PlayStation or Xbox or on PC also. So, I'm, I'm good for now, okay? And I just bought a Nintendo Switch. I want, I'm kind of busy with playing with that one too, all right? T-Long. Next question. Ask me, have I played any of the, of the Mafia games? Yeah, dude, I, I live stream Mafia 3 like from beginning to end for you guys. Like, uh, well, the highlights, I guess. Uh, I think there's some videos that are still private. Some live streams that, you know, I live stream in and I, I, I didn't make it uh, public for everyone. But Mafia 3, I did play. Mafia 2, uh, I played on PlayStation 3 and uh, I never finished it. I, uh, I watched a, a bunch, of, I, I got through a, a, a good chunk of the game. And then at one point, I was like, I'm just going to watch the rest of the game on, uh, you know, the cutscenes on, on YouTube or something, okay? So I never finished Mafia 2. I never played Mafia 1 at all, okay? So that's my experience with Mafia. Ben Davis asked me, what's my favorite Star Wars movie? To this day, I still like um, Return of the Jedi. That's my favorite of the Star Wars movies, okay? Um, for, for original trilogy, I guess. For the older movies, I like Attack of the Clones. And for the recent trilogy, I guess I'll go with Rise of Skywalker. I like that one more than the other two. I think Force Awakens is good too. But I think in terms of like rewatchability, I like to watch the uh, uh, the third one. You see more Luke Skywalker. All the characters in it, you know? Uh, so, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, Fruity Tootie <laughs> asked me, is there a sequel or continuation to any game that I want? Okay, that obviously that doesn't doesn't exist, but I want it to continue. Um, I would like the Parasite Eve movies, not oh, movies, the Parasite Eve games, um, which originally came out on I first played on PlayStation One, and play, uh, the Parasite Eve Two was on PlayStation Two, and then um, there was a third game which wasn't called Parasite Eve Three; it was called The Third Birthday. Uh, it, that was on the Vita. I played that one too, but. <clears throat> I want there to be another one in that series, I mean, like a reboot or like a remake or something like that, okay? Because I really enjoyed those games, and they have really good plot, really good story to it, okay? And being a science teacher, I kind of like the, uh, the science aspect to it, okay? Um, okay, final question here is from Ashton Live. Which character am I looking forward to in Suicide Squad 2? Okay, they, re they released a trailer this past week. I saw it. I think my uh, the character I'm looking forward to seeing the most is uh, King Shark. King Shark is actually one of the characters in the Suez, uh, not the Suez, the uh, Harley Quinn TV show. He's like a really funny character. He's like a like a computer whiz and stuff like that. I don't know if he's going to be like that in uh, in the movie, but I'm looking forward to how he uh, how he is in the movie. Okay, he looks right. He like he looks just like how he does in the in the, in the cartoon. So I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> okay, well. Uh, huh. That's it. I, this is a pretty short uh, Sunday vlog, huh? Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, okay? Remember, comment below with your questions. Comment below with your sh uh, requests for shout-outs. I'll answer them next week. So thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, subscribe. Happy Easter. Talk guys later. Bye-bye.